The US Senate has voted to clear the way for a debate on reforming gun laws in the wake of the Newtown school massacre. The vote, by 68 to 31, means that President Obama's plans for background checks on gun buyers, tighter restrictions on trafficking and more cash for school security will now be considered by Congress in the coming weeks. But not, as was once hoped, a possible ban on assault weapons. The proposals have already been watered down and yet they still face tough hurdles. Our foreign affairs correspondent Jonathan Miller has this report. Amid the cherry tree blossoms on Capitol Hill, fresh hope for America's gun control lobby today as the Senate voted to begin debate on the emotionally charged and politically complex issue of curbing gun violence. The lobbying continued right up to the last minute. We are standing here because her sister and my mom can't be. And their voices need to be heard and they're going to carry through us. We're here to demand action and demand that we receive a vote and that we are allowed to have some peace of mind that our loved ones didn't die for no reason. Down on the floor, it doesn't much look like they're voting, but they are, and they cleared the 60-vote hurdle needed to defeat Republican efforts to block the debate. I'm grateful to all Republicans who joined with us to allow this debate to go forward. Now, the hard work starts now. The bill will now be debated for weeks. It was the Sandy Hook Elementary School massacre in Newtown, Connecticut, last December, that triggered demand for the first new gun control legislation in two decades. Twenty children and six adults shot dead by a heavily armed assailant in just five minutes flat. The president said the rampages had to stop. As a country, we have been through this too many times. What Barack Obama wanted was a ban on assault rifles and high-capacity magazines. What he's actually got is a debate on a watered-down bill which aims to expand background checks on gun buyers to prevent guns getting into the hands of criminals and the mentally ill. But it's not for want of trying. The president flew the Newtown moms and dads down to D.C. aboard Air Force One. This is not about me. This is not about politics. This is about doing the right thing for all the families who are here that have been torn apart by gun violence. And Gillian Soto, who you saw speaking today in the Senate, was there, dabbing her eyes in the front row. And one of the two senators who managed to broker today's breakthrough deal met those Newtown families too. He's actually a gun lover, but this all proved too much. I'm a parent. I'm a parent. I'm a grandparent, he said. I had to do something. The gunners' lobby won't be best pleased by what they see as an assault on their right to bear arms, spelled out in the Second Amendment to America's 1791 Constitution. Even the diluted bill will be hard for many to swallow. The number of families punished by gun violence in America, though, is startling. Today, 3,300 grave markers were planted out on the mall to remember those killed by guns since Newtown in December. Around 10,000 killed every year, 10 times that number shot and wounded. It does seem that views on Capitol Hill do not fully reflect the views of the nation. Across America, suburban moms are saying enough is enough, and politicians can ill afford to ignore the suburban mom's vote. <laughs> Isn't coming home.